everyone, my name is Danae and I'm from the Long Beach Public Library and today we will be making Egyptian collars. These are really neat. I'm going to show you different ways that you can make it with whatever you have at home. But before we start, I just want to make sure if you haven't signed up for the summer reading program, go to longbeach.beanstag.org to sign up today. If you already signed up for the summer reading program, don't forget to type in pirate in the activity tab in Beanstag so you can get credit for watching today's program. Okay, so let's start. So, as you can tell, I am using a paper plate to make the collar. If you don't have a paper plate, you can also use construction paper. This is what I use. And I'll show you the different types of um, collars that I made. But before we start, so I'm going to use a regular paper plate. If you have a paper plate at home, you might have like different designs. Um, I'm using a really light, flimsy kind of paper plate. And I'm going to get a marker and I'm going to make a Y, like the Y, and you're going to put it out and you're going to mark it there and then you're going to just follow along and kind of like make a happy face. So you're going to do that. Um, after that, you will cut it. So what I did, I'll show you. So this is the end product. I'm just going to take some scissors. We got some safety scissors right here. And you're going to start cutting. And I'm going to cut on the outer part of the marker so that you will not see um, the lines. So I'm going to keep cutting, 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 cutting. And then this is what you get. So. Also, if you are going to use construction paper, this is what, you, what you'll do. So it's kind of like you're going to make two happy faces. You're going to go one and then two. Um, you can either do a freehand and you're just going to cut along. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut on the inside and, and then you're going to cut on the outside of the, the inner one. And once you're done with that, this is what you're going to get. It looks like a little bib. That's not bad. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to show you the different types of things that you can do to decorate. You can, if you just want to have crayons, you can just use crayons. I have markers. Um, also, you can use the glue. You have regular glue, which is good, or you can use a glue stick. Um, can't forget the glitter. You have glitter. And well, I made this one with paint. Um, we have tempura paint. Oh, I'm sorry. This is bi biocolor paint. But you can use watercolor. You can use whatever. Um, this is the result of that, what I use for that um, with this. Um, and also, we also have just with regular crayons. This is what I did with markers and this one can get a little bit messy because we're going to use glitter so we have this we have glitter we have markers and since we're over here at the library we had some leftover jewels so i glued it on top so you can do that um, and that's pretty much it it's very simple if you want to learn more about egyptians we have so many books here at the library that you can check out and read at home and um, I have some books right here that we are, we have, some of the many books, but I also have this one book that I just finished reading. It's a really good book. It's by Tamar Brown. It's a shipwrecked sailor, an Egyptian tale with hieroglyphics. It's a mysterious, ooh, it's a man who goes on a mysterious journey trying to find a treasure. So it's really neat. And the cool thing is the illustrations are really wonderful. And it's a really nice story, but the cool thing is, it also tells a story in hieroglyphics. So you get a little bit of feel of it. So don't forget, if you haven't signed up for summer reading, go ahead and go to longbeach.beanstack.org to sign up today. And don't forget, our activity code for the week is pirates. Okay, well have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.